time for an oil change. All right, so we're gonna be doing a oil change on my very own F-150, 5 liter V8. Uh, there's a couple things you guys need to have and know. Uh, first of all, uh, you, you need to have the oil, uh, the proper tools, uh, and you wanna have the oil warmed up a little bit just for better flowing characteristics. Uh, Steve already took care of that for us. So uh, yeah, let's, 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 let's get started. Fucked and drank all night, acted all all right. Had no need to fight tonight, tonight. So the tools you're going to need are going to be a half inch ratchet, a 15 millimeter socket. You're going to want a oil filter wrench just in case that filters on too tight. Some rags, a lot of rags, and a trusty old crescent wrench just in case. Don't forget your oil, I mean your oil pan and your funnel. So for the oil, you're going to want to use whatever is recommended for your vehicle. In this case, I'm using 8 quarts of full synthetic 5W20 motor oil from Castrol. I know the jugs look different, but don't worry, they're the same type of oil. The only difference is that the black jug is from Costco. I know, I know, it's not mainstream to get engine oil from the same place that sells meat and dairy, but, and that's a big but, it's much, much cheaper. Uh, also, I like to use a quart of regular oil just to flush out the old oil when in the draining process. And you don't want to forget the single most important part, the oil filter. I like to use the best, so I'm going with K&N's oil filter. So you're going to want to pop your hood right on this lever here. Pull on that. You want to find the latch here. And latch it. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do once you get to the engine bay is locate the oil uh, fill cap, which is right here to your left. It'll also say the proper oil that it takes. In this case, it is 5W20. And you're going to want to locate the oil dipstick, which is right here, right beside your steering reservoir. You want to pull that out. So you're going to want to pull your dipstick right out and right at the bottom of the dipstick you're going to see the color of the oil. So if that can focus on us here. Alright, so as you can see there, it's a brownish color. So that's when you know it's time to change it. You don't want that. You want, you want it to be a nice golden yellow color. I like to use the ramps uh, just to get a little bit better access and for a better flowage to the back of the oil pan. So let's get her up there. step is to make sure your vehicle is shut off and in park. Head to the rear of the vehicle and make sure that you blocked the rear tire. Alright, so you're going to want to find a way to get beneath the truck. Um, going through the side or going through the fan. It don't matter. I'm going to go right through the front uh, to access the bolt, the drain bolt, uh, to drain out the, the old oil. So um, let's go ahead and do that. If you have um, like um, one of those creepers uh, to get under there easily, you know that that might come in handy for you. If you don't, just lay down some cardboard or some or, or something to, to lay on. If you don't feel comfortable laying on on the concrete, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, layer it on there. All right. So at this point, we are under the vehicle, 
and uh, you want to locate uh, the drain bolt which is right there um, for reference um, right there is the um, transmission and um, this would be the transmission oil pan so don't get those two confused that's the transmission oil pan uh, that big rectangle there and you want to uh, drain out uh, this bolt right here uh, so yeah you want to loosen that up and uh, we're in business all right, so you're going to slide your pan around there and get ready to drain it. All right, once you get under here, you're going to want to make sure that this pan is further away back than the drain itself. So it's a little bit back, this is going to kind of squirt over and uh, further away, then it's not going to drip directly down, if you know what I mean. So you're going to make sure it's in the center of the drain plug and a little bit further back. Ready, tie your lefty Lucy. Once you got it loosened up, you can unscrew it by hand. You'll see it start to drip down. You can get a better idea where you should put the pan once it starts dripping like that. You might want to use gloves for this. All right, now we got some gloves on. We're gonna go ahead and begin to unscrew this. Careful, the oil might be a little bit hot. probably reach around like this you want to try to keep the bolt in your hand and not let it fall into the pan so when you know that it's all unthreaded just pull it right out and watch it drain just like that Put the bolt to the side and let her drain. So now that all the old oil is drained out, I like to use just a regular 520, um, just a regular uh, oil. You don't need a synthetic for this, just to pour back in the drain and flush it, the rest of the stuff out. I'll just pour some in to flush out the rest of the stuff. All right, so you want to get the funnel in there and pour maybe half of this. You don't have to pour the whole thing, just so it flushes the rest of that oil out and you'll see at the bottom it'll flush out all the remaining oil all right so now that all that oil is drained out you wanna you wanna put your bolt back in now I did forget to mention that there's a brass washer uh, on this nut which you are supposed to replace every couple of oil changes but since this is only my second oil change with this washer I'm gonna go ahead and skip that uh, process and install it extra residue all this extra residue cleaned up and once you got all that cleaned up you're ready for the next step removing the oil filter so we're gonna want to locate the uh, oil filter which is located on the bottom there so you're gonna want to unscrew this and uh, remove that unscrew that all right so hopefully you guys can still see that you're gonna want to grab the drain pan put it closer to 
there is a drain funnel uh, sort of kind of they, de they designed it into here it's like a funnel that's supposed to funnel the oil down over here but uh, every time I do this it seems to fall the through the back so I'm just gonna try my best here oh I didn't need a wrench look at that so unscrew that okay we got that all right so just so you know um, they have a funnel here but all the oil drains through the back through that little opening here so once you remove the oil uh, filter mostly oil uh, will drain through this uh, opening here down into the pan and you want to let that drain out put the oil filter aside and we're ready for the next step all right so the next step is to just uh, get your oil filter we got the K&N one I prefer the good stuff open this up all right um, I like to fill this up about half ways and just put a little bit of oil of, of new oil around this uh, gasket or ring gasket or whatever you guys call it I call it the gasket all right so you're gonna want to put a little bit of the new oil uh, I don't want to fill it I'm not gonna fill it. I'm gonna go half ways because um, the the location of the the oil filter isn't um, it's not straight up it's kind of on an angle into the engine block if you know what I mean so it, when you when you when you go there it'll kind of spill a little bit if it's full that's done we're going to install it all right so we're going to install it the same way that we took out the other one uh, this part is a little bit more tricky because I can't see the threads um, but I'm going to try my best you just got to kind of feel it in there and uh, hope for the best you don't want to cross thread this very important that you don't that you don't cross thread the filter onto the engine block because uh, it is aluminum all right I think we got it yeah, we got it. We got it. All right, so tighten that down. You just want to snug it down. You don't need a tool for. You don't need a tool to tighten it down. You just want to tighten it down by hand. Snug. Make sure it's snug in there. All right, that's all you need, and you're done. Ready for the next step. So just a word of caution before we begin. You want to make sure that the oil drain bolt is properly fastened, and that the oil filter is also properly installed. Uh, just because you don't want any oil draining out um, during the filling process. Okay, so let's fill her up with some new oil. Five quarts, three more to go. I find if that you turn the bottle sideways, it's easier to pour. All right, so that's five. And there's three more to go. Three more. All right. So now before you put the last quart of, of the eight quarts of oil, you're going to want to put half of this one and lower down the vehicle just to make sure that we got enough. You don't have, you don't want to have more. You rather have less oil than you have more oil. So we're going to put half and we're going to take the vehicle down from the ramps and check the oil level. All right, that should do it. So now what I'm going to do is lower the vehicle off the ramps. Uh, check the oil level and then the remainder of the oil that we have left to put we'll just fill it up with some of this 
So you want to remove your filter, put your oil cap back on. Now make sure there's no tools in the engine bay. All tools, all remaining tools must be brought out before you start the engine. Remove the ramp. And you want to make sure that the vehicle is on a level surface to check the oil uh, level. So I'm going to have to move all this stuff out of the way because this is my only level surface. And then we can check the oil level and go from there. Alright, so I want to make sure that the oil, uh, you want to make sure that the vehicle has been sitting for at least 5 to 10 minutes just so the oil's got a chance to sit back in the pan so it's all settled down and you can have a correct and accurate oil reading so let's go check that out get the dipstick working off all right so it seems like we're right at the neural line right about there if that'll focus so it's right at the neural line we can add a little bit more up to the second hole there. So let's go do that. Did I ever tell you a story about my Uncle Julius? Nah, honey, you did. Oh, man, he was the coolest dude back in Cleveland. Everybody loved him. All right, he's got nine kids and he drove the bus. The dude was never not happy. What happened? He won $2 million in the lottery and then got severely depressed. All right? Lost it all within a year and now he's back to driving the bus. Happy as hell. All right. Lost, then you're done. So I'm not sure what I was talking about here, but you do want to make sure that you dispose of the oil in a proper manner after you're done. Um, you can take it down to your local um, auto parts store. They usually have a drop off area where you can drop off your oil and they'll take care of the rest. Um, you don't want to cause any environmental issues for yourself, obviously. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching.